Hello, welcome to Bugger's Nurseries, I'm Ginny. An awful lot of weeds got ahead of us in the last while. It's been so wet, it's been hard to get weeding and cleaning in beds. It's important to get ahead of weeds before they get ahead of you now because they're going to beat you up and you won't beat them all year. Now we have some lovely delphiniums here. This is delphinium pig and purple. And delphinium pig and purple is a fantastic delphinium. It grows higher than me, grows decent six foot plus high and really, really colourful. They're fantastic. I put up a video after this one of this one in flower last year. They're fantastic. They need a bit of support as well. So that's where your floppies come in to support them and keep them, hold them in place. Now around them at the moment, we've lots and lots of weeds. You look at this clump here, you can see we have uh, some creeping buttercups, some dandelions, some dandelions back this way as well. The tool we're using for the job is this one here. This is the pulls pork from the base. It's a fantastic tool. You can get underneath weeds very easily with it and rake over an area. That's a new one. Uh, spanking new ones. Lots of them in the web shop. They're a nice light tool, easy to use and very effective. What I like about them, you can get very close to a plant like that. You can get her dig down like that, get the roots of the breathing buttercup out and get in close to our delphinium to get it nice and clean. Oh, or a dandelion there beside the delphinium as well so get it out nice and neatly so very quickly we can get this area cleaned over and raked over and left so our delphinium can do a good job again this year now we're feeding them as well and the fertilizer we're using around the delphinium is flower max and flower max is the fertilizer to feed all your flowering shrubs your perennial flowers your hydrangeas they should be fed every four to six weeks from now with flower max it brings out the intensity of the flower colour and increases the amount of flowers you're going to have. So we're going to put a couple of handfuls like that around our uh, delphinium. A couple of creeping buttercups in the middle there as well. There's no point in feeding those also. So our delphiniums are well underway now and we get them supported very soon now. And they are just only fantastic. Pig and purple is well worth planting. Now to plant delphinium, pig and purple, just dig a hole twice the depth of the pot. A little bit of super tribe at the bottom. It's well, well, compost and soil on top and the same back in around. And this gorgeous delphinium will be in your garden for years and years to come. Have a look at the next video up of this plant in full flower and see what you can achieve and create fantastic height in your beds and borders. Bye for now. Enjoy your garden.